The resistance movement in Mariupol announces that last night they liquidated at least four Russian officers who occupied a private residential building near the port in Mariupol. Apparently, there was a little extra heating in the taken over house. Ukrainian missiles have struck one of the few bridges linking the Crimea Peninsula with the Ukrainian mainland, cutting one of the main supply routes for Russian occupation forces in southern Ukraine as Kiev pushes to drive them out. Vladimir Saldo, head of the Russian-installed administration in occupied parts of Ukraine's Kherson province, released a video of himself on the Chonhar Road Bridge, where craters had been blasted through the asphalt on Thursday. Earlier, President Volodymyr Zelensky was quoted as saying progress in Ukraine's counteroffensive against Russian forces was slower than desired, but that Kiev would not be pressured into speeding it up. Some people believe this is a Hollywood movie and expect results now, Britain's BBC quoted him as saying in an interview. It's not. What's at stake is people's lives. His adversary, Russian President Vladimir Putin, said Moscow had observed a lull in Ukraine's counteroffensive, which began early this month. Although Ukraine still had some offensive potential, Kiev understood it had no chance, Mr. Putin said in televised remarks. Another meaningless act perpetrated by the Kiev regime on orders from London. It solves nothing as far as the special military operation is concerned, he said on Thursday, vowing to repair the bridge and restore traffic. He threatened to retaliate by targeting a bridge linking neighboring Moldova to NATO member Romania. A very serious response is coming very soon. The Chonhar Bridge hit overnight is one of just a handful of access roads to Crimea, which is linked to the Ukrainian mainland by a narrow isthmus. Alternative routes require hours-long detours over roads in poor condition. The strike was a blow to the military logistics of the occupiers, said Yuri Sobolevsky a Ukrainian official on the governing body for the Kherson region. The psychological impact on the occupiers and the occupying power is even more important. There is no place on the territory of Kherson region where they can feel safe, he said. Yes, Modified Mon-50 in Ukraine, designed to kill the operator. Don't pick up, don't play, don't touch. And the Ukrainian humor. If you can't go to the restaurant yourself, the restaurant will come to you. U.S. Senators Lindsey Graham and Blumenthal introduced a bipartisan resolution declaring Russia's use of nuclear weapons or destruction of the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Ukraine to be an attack on NATO requiring the invocation of NATO Article 5. We're of the belief that a nuclear weapon <clears throat> unleashed in Ukraine would irradiate large portions of Europe where we have NATO allies. And why are we doing this? President Biden says threat of Putin using tactical nuclear weapons is real. You, that's like the 20th story down. So with a sense of urgency, we're urging our colleagues here to get serious about what could happen in Ukraine. Moving the tactical nuclear weapons out of Russia to Belarus was unnerving and I think very provocative. The counteroffensive is moving slowly, but steadily. They're looking for a break. They will commit the forces that have been trained uh, by the West, six or eight 
uh, regiments, thousands of well-trained, well-equipped forces will be put into the battle when they can exploit an opportunity. So the Ukrainians are patient. Russia has fortified their defensive positions. They've mined the whole country. They've been committing war crimes on steroids, very abusive uh, war being waged by Putin. But we're here to talk about something nobody else seems to want to talk about. I applaud President Biden for putting on the table that the threat of Putin using a nuclear weapon in Ukraine is real. And our message is to those around Putin that if you do this, if you follow his order, if he ever gives it, you can expect a massive response from NATO and you will be at war with NATO. I can't believe that NATO nations would allow their countries to be irradiated by a nuclear attack emanating in Ukraine, not, not to consider that attack on the uh, neighboring country and NATO writ large. So as we go into the 4th of July holiday, people are going to do things at home. They're going to meet with their constituents. They're going to travel. Uh, Senator Blumenthal and I want to put everybody in this body and this Congress on notice that the threat of a use of a nuclear device by Russia is real. And the best way to deter it is to give them clarity, the Russians, as to what happens if they do that. They will be in a war with NATO. Thank you. This is not from Ukraine, but it's cool. Visitors to the Glastonbury Music Festival in Great Britain were delivered pizza on a jetpack. The action was held by Domino's Company. It is possible that soon such a service will become permanent. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.